Welcome to Mr. Peacock and Friends. I wonder what Mr. Peacock will be doing today. Let's find out, but first I have to find him. Have you seen Mr. Peacock? Mr. Peacock. Mr. Peacock! I'm here! Oh, there you are, Mr. Peacock. We're wondering what you're going to be doing today. Today I'm going to take you to a historical home. A historical home? Oh, yes. This is going to be a very important part of our history to check out. I think I want to go see a historical home. Would you like to go too? Let's take them, Mrs. Peacock. Okay. Come on, everyone. Let's check this out. Let's go. Tell us some information you found about the birthplace of Herbert Hoover. That's right. Herbert Hoover, this is his National Historic Site that commemorates the life and accomplishments of Herbert Hoover, the 31st president. He was born in the village of West Branch, Iowa to a family of modest means. Hoover believed in the unbounded opportunity of American life. His quote is, my country owes me nothing. It gave me as it gives every boy and girl a chance. In no other land could a boy from a country village without inheritance or influential friends look forward with unabounded hope. Tell us some more what you found about Herbert Hoover. That's right. It says from Downey Street to Pennsylvania Avenue. Herbert Clark Hoover was born August 10, 1874 in this two room cottage. He spent his early boyhood years on the edge of the village surrounded by farmlands. His parents, relatives, and many neighbors were Quakers whose daily lives were centered on their faith's beliefs. Herbert's mother, Holda, tended to him and his siblings, Theodore and Mary. She also served as a recorded minister in the Quaker meeting. Jesse, a devoted father, worked as a blacksmith and businessman. Together they played major roles in forming the character of the boy who would become the 31st President of the United States. We're in West Branch, Iowa, and right behind us is the birthplace of our 31st President, President Herbert Hoover. Yes, that's right. Jesse Hoover and his father, Eli, built the 14 by 20 foot cottage in 1871. They sold the cottage in 1878 and had several owners until it was purchased in 1935 by President and Mrs. Hoover. It's so wonderful that it's here. And right here on Downey Street is what it sort of looked like back in the day when he was here. And it's so fun to come to West Branch and to check it out. I think we're gonna go inside and see what it's like. Yes, let's go. Are you ready? I am ready, let's go. Back in his time, blacksmiths and horses were very important for their life. And we're going to go into where the blacksmith was during his time here. Well, his father was blacksmith. This next building, the schoolhouse, it may not be the one that he went to, but it's very close to what one would have looked like during his time. Let's check it out. Yes, let's check it. This one's smaller than the one I went to. I went to a country schoolhouse just like this, a one-room school. It was fun. This is actually called a meeting house. And in this meeting house, the Religious Society of Friends, or Quakers, practice principles of simplicity, honesty, equality, peace, and service to others. These values shaped young Hoover's character and were evident in his humanitarian endeavors and interest in public service. The Quakers worshiped in silence until the spirit moved someone to speak. To encourage individual worship and female participation, men sat on one side of the partition and women and children on the other. Herbert's mother, Holda, was an inspired speaker who sat with the elders in the front on raised benches. The congregation sat opposite. She conducted revivals, young people's prayer meetings, and temperance campaigns. And I quote from Hoover, the primitive furnishings of the Quaker meeting house, the solemnity of the long hours of meeting, 
awaiting the spirit to move someone with strong training in patience. Let's check this friend's meeting house out, Mrs. Peacock. Okay, I'm ready. Let's see, which side do you sit on? I would guess, and I'm only guessing, men on the right and women on the left. You gotta sit on that side in the friend's wall, and I'm gonna sit on this side, and if we get tired of seeing each other, we can <laughs> raise this up, and we can have a whole private meeting in here. Oh, that does go on. Like I said, we can close each other out if we went to worship. You're right, just pull that down and it's closed. Oh, very interesting. I like that idea. I'm sure the president in his day walked down these same streets here in West Branch, Iowa in his youth. I'm sure he did. Isn't that a pretty house? You just seen President Herbert Hoover's birthplace in West Branch, Iowa. Yes, that's right. It was two rooms and he was born in the bedroom. And it was actually in the same place of where it actually was when he was born. Yeah, that's really interesting and kind of unusual, I think. But that whole historical site was very interesting and I sent you to the cry room in the friendship house. <laughs> I didn't want to go to the cry room there at all. But you always say I'm a cry baby. That's right, so I sent you there. Okay, I just <laughs> love checking that town out. You gotta go see that. Oh. Oh no, not again. Yeah, time's up, we gotta go. But do we have to? But we gotta go, time's okay, up. Okay, okay, if that's the case, I'll say see you all later. That's right, next time on Mr. Peacock and Friends, we'll see what's happening on the Peacock Farm. Right, Mr. Peacock? Mr. Peacock is gone, he must be off on another adventure. So until next time, on Mr. Peacock and Friends, I'll see you later. Mr. Peacock, Mr. Peacock, Mr. Peacock. If you like our videos, please subscribe, like, and share with all your friends.